<clears throat> well, hey, look, I made a um, I made a smoothie. Well, I made a smoothie. I'm having a little bit right now, but I'm thinking I might, I might have to pimp it up. I didn't mean pimp, you know, enhance it. Pimp's not, it's not, pimp is a four-letter word. We shouldn't use that one. Um, with some, you know, cranberry, blueberry, so-called organic, but it has the reconstituted, you know, the, the food. I don't know if I want to do that. This is actually made with um, uh, blueberries, right? Frozen blueberries. And then the cher the black cherries is in season right now. You know, what I do is I pit it myself. I, I, I bite it, put the half in, get the pit out in the stem, and then the other half in, in the blender, whatever have you. And uh, so those, just just with that, the um, uh, the yogurt, okay, it's the goat's milk yogurt. Don't worry, I show it to you some other time, you know, because I put it back in the refrigerator, right? And then I use my moringa powder and vitamin C powder. That's all that's in here. Let's taste it and see if I have to enhance it. No enhancement necessary. Okay. And I already took my, uh, at night I take my syrup peptase, um, what do you call that, tablet. Uh, it's supposed to like be a rotor root, no, it's supposed to clean out your arteries, you know, whatever have you. I don't know. It's like a supplement. I take it at night. And it's it's in the middle. It's, it's night now. It's after. Usually I'm in bed already. But what happened? <laughs> I took this walk. Let me tell you what happened. I took this walk today to get the yogurt. Right to get the yogurt, and, and it's like I don't know. Say it's say it's four miles, three miles, whatever. It is. In the in the heat, whatever have you. Went down there to this place called it's called something. I call it schmucks, but it's not schmucks. It's schnooks. It's, up, it's something. I call it schnooks. I, it's something. It's like with an S and Da, 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 da. And uh, they had it. I was excited. I just went there for some bread. I got some uh, uh, this uh, rye bread with chia seeds in it, right? That's all I wanted because I was going to make sandwiches. Then I saw that. Ooh, put in my backpack. I came on back, on the way back. It doesn't matter. I stopped over friends and, ah, eh, friends in St. Louis, come on now. I had, you know, had some water, whatever, and then kept on my journey. But while I was doing, I had my headphones on as I usually do, right? And I was listening to some um, James Baldwin. Oh, let me tell you something. Can I say something to you? Let me put my put my my reading glasses like I'm a professorial because you, know, you listen to people with glasses on. I know you do, right? Okay, let me put my hat on. Like this is my hat my wife made for me. It's like Nigerian style. Don't worry about it. Okay, so. What happened was I'm listening to, to 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 James, you know James Baldwin, and I'm realizing I'm going like, hey, you know James, he was saying some stuff and saying, wait a second, they're saying this today. He was saying all this stuff, right? And then I realized there's so much there's so much uh, speeches that James Baldwin have given those speeches, just talks and, and question and answer. In this particular one, maybe I'll t I'll put the link. This was a really good question and answer thing. Anyway, um, so excuse me, excuse me. Um, so, so I'm going like, yeah, James had a lot of stuff there. Then I was thinking, I said, hmm, hmm, who else has a lot of stuff on the, on the internet? And then I realized, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., right? As far as the, the speeches and, and talks or whatever had it. And Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has had something to back there, but also he has a weekly, you know, thing he gives, plus he's on other things like the Carl Nelson show out of DC. You can find Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. I said, if I just took... Um, James Baldwin, right, which, which gets informed me about all kinds of whatever, and I took Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., just those two, I'd be happy. I don't have to listen to nobody else. Because don't get me wrong, yes, I listen to that and, you know, and, and tone, you know, for, for breaking, you know, breaking brown and tone talks, and you know, just for like, because that's my ADR's head, you know what I mean? Because right now we're in this movement, right, and nobody's listening to this is so good, you know. But, but I'm just trying to say, anyway, don't worry about what I'm saying. So I wanted to read some James Baldwin now. So I just picked out a, a thing, you know. I already saw it already, so I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm just, it's very small. It's very, very short. But the whole thing, you have to understand, you you, you might be listening to all kinds of people, you know, Dr. Randy Short, or all kinds of people, you know, Judge Joe Brown, all kinds of people you'd be listening to. No, no worries, no worries. You know, you get your stuff from there. But James said it back in the day, so you can't attack. It's like, I can't explain it. All I'm trying to say, going into it, Start listening to some Baldwin, right? 
not not just the, the, the lectures. Like he did like this is one record I used to play on the radio. Uh Margaret Mead and James Baldwin were in conversation from that Motown Black Forum series, you know, when they had a bunch of people talking to you. That's when I had a um of was it uh um, and there's a lot. There's a lot of people. I can't think of right now. It's like, well, I'm usually asleep, but I'm, I'm wake. I'm wide awake because I fell asleep that night. Then I woke up and woke up in a, an event. Has, I was the half of her program, so I got the callers, which I love the callers. You know, so I let, forget what I was doing. Okay. So right now, I'm in the basement of my, of, of my you know, my room is right over there. But my, I live in the. I'm in the basement of my best friend's house here in, in, um, in St. Louis, right? Well, outside St. Louis suburbs. I'm at, and. Uh, I decided this. I'm gonna start calling this uh, call from the basement, or you know, uh, no more the no the, the, the no more no. I do a thing called no more radio, and I still do it, maybe. And it's no more for your purpose. It just means seed, right? So I get seeds of thoughts. You know what I mean? I, sometimes I sit here and I just chill, I chill like that. I chill, whatever. Anyway, let me get to the point here. Let me just read this thing, that uh, just a little bit of it. Um, um, the white Americans responsible for sending black slaves to Liberia, where they are still slaving for the Firestone Rubber Company. Hey, take that, Blyden, and all of us. I'm sorry, let's leave that alone. Do not do this to set them free. They despise them, and they wanted to get rid of them. Lincoln's intention was not to free the slaves but to destabilize the Confederate government by giving their slaves reason to defect. Uh, You know, Lincoln was a strategist, and you got to give him that. The Emancipation Proclamation freed precisely those slaves who were not under the authority of of the president, uh, uh, what could not yet be insured um, as the Union. Okay? A strategic, strategic move. I just want you to read that little thing. Now, those are the kind of things. Just one. That's one little sentence that you can get. I love this series of books. This is from the uh, uh, the Library of America. This you always see these kind of things. This is James Baldwin thing. It's got a lot of essays in it and stuff like that. Oh, uh, collective essays. No, so native son. Nobody knows my name. The fire next time. No name in the street. The devil's works and other essays. Oh, I'm sorry. The one I just read is from the essay called uh, "Open Letter." To the born again. That's interesting, isn't it? Open letter to the born again. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Why? Because, uh, you know, I'm in the basement thinking, you know, you know, thoughts from the basement, thoughts from no more, thoughts from thoughts from something. You can have your own thoughts. I'm just trying to say your thoughts should be informed by some really informative sources, right? James, he's an informative source. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., He's an informed source. Okay, just let you know. Just, uh, go, go, go to sleep. Don't worry about it. Go back to bed.